What's up everyone? Draco Evolve Arsenal versus Manchester United in the Premier League match preview. It is a big one. It is a massive one. Not in terms of the history of the fixture or the rivalry between us fans, um, but also because of the way that Manchester United lost the last game. It is a game to, a perfect game for us, you can say, to bounce back into the swing of things. Look, everything's you know i've seen the social media i've seen a lot of you guys reaction and rightly so everybody was disappointed but but it was inevitable we went on a very very good run and one bleep against the worst possible team in the premier league it does hurt but this is the game that we can win we should win and we can set things right okay manchester united is currently sits second one point behind man city last five games drawn once lost once won three times arsenal on the other hand have won four drawn once in the last five games they are in a bit of a resurgence they are in a bit of a good form they are climbing the table they're on 30 points 10 points behind manchester united and we go into this game with a very very good away record fun fact the last time we lost an away tie away away match in the premier league was against arsenal so if i go back historically last season we've lost um two nil away in the january 2020 right first of january two nil away that was our last away loss in off oh, in the premier league which is fantastic and albeit it came against arsenal however looking at these results we lost one nil obviously earlier in the season at home to arsenal obama young penalty which he's got <laughs> the goal of the month for because that's on the only goal they scored that month i believe um but but you can see in the Premier League, we haven't beaten Arsenal for a very, very long time. In fact, we go back in the FA Cup, which is January 2019, where we won against Arsenal 3-1. The last four fixtures, Arsenal have beaten us three times and we've drawn once. So it just shows that Arsenal's, Arsenal really turn up the heat against Manchester United when they play Manchester United. And it is their effectively it is their fa cup final it is they play like prime barca when they play manchester united and then they fall apart against every other team in the league possible it is a game that is important not only in terms of results but also in terms of bouncing back from the disappointing result of uh the weekday here is my predicted lineup let me know your predicted lineup guys 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 i'm gonna go for david de gea which i should have put in there there we go there we go done david de gea look sure by Maguire, bisaka by his bit of an update on oligan associates press conference today which we'll talk about he looks like he's gonna be starting look sure i expect him to be back here a nice week off you can say uh, in terms of the midfield duo i went for fred and mctominy they were arrested for a reason it's so blatant that oligan associates prefers them against tougher oppositions because they can provide Provide the legs the dynamic um we haven't we've won 70 plus percent i was reading somewhere on twitter we won 70 percent of our games when fred played it just shows how much of an important player he is he has been rested the whole week he did not feature at all against sheffield united but i expect fred and mctominy to be in there up front bit of a change for me obviously marshall didn't have the best of games i reckon cavani will come in to bully the center backs and david lewis there is a mistake in him we all know that there is a mistake in him and also like with marshall he's not very good in the air especially with, against likes of david lewis who are tall and combative in the air cavani will provide that threat up front with his work rate and clever movement in the three i went for pogba on the left side bruno and marcus rashford on the right side i don't believe there's anyone else to choose from pogba has been on fantastic form how can you drop him do you drop him for fred do you drop him for mctominy i doubt it i reckon pogba will start in one of those little wing positions inside forward that little position or if you play full manager it's the mezala position where you're just around here drifting around here rather than wingers coming in that way or wingers going that way but this is my predictor lineup let me know your thoughts in the comments below looking at Ole Gunnar Solskjaer's press conference be of a serious thing obviously we all know the disgusting behavior that was targeted towards Axel to Anzebi and Ole Gunnar Solskjaer has come out and said um this in relation to that i think social media platforms need to look at racism if you can create anonymous accounts it is not right we will work with everyone to stop this nonsense he's right i don't know how we're going to tackle that because people will create anonymous account and i can tell you these are not fans they are not fans as simple as that they are disgusting human beings 2021 and for them racism still exists platforms social media platforms gotta do more in my opinion i don't know how but you gotta do more in my opinion to to to, to combat this right 
I, I hope that person or persons that that have targeted this sort of behavior towards any player let alone Axel any player um are tracked down because uh, police can track these things down with ip or whatever they do and and charge them for it it is absolutely disgusting and it should not happen at all period period the uk government has come out and said that, that facebook twitter and instagrams are to be held legally responsible for the kind of racist abuse suffered by axel tuanzebi and i agree they should be kept uh, accountable uh, these are massive companies earning millions and billions of pounds per year they need to do better they need, they've got the resources to be able to combat these things they need to be forward thinking and do much much better um, so that was an update around, um, you know, Oligan Solskjaer. Um, he said that it is disgusting and the players that we have spoken to, they are fine. It's just they are not MUFC fans if that happens. They are not any football fan, any, any fan. They're just there to cause trouble. Simple as that. Um, in terms of uh, the transfer outs, Oligan Solskjaer did come out and say that likely that Jesse Lingard loan deal is going through. Likely that Rojo goes back to Argentina. A little bit of paperwork left to be done. Romero not heard anything from there. He also said around Bayi, he is traveling to Arsenal. Apart from that, we didn't get any losses. So, in terms of our squad, there this is a full full strength squad. I have, I'm not following Donny Van der Beek. There we go. Follow bloody hell. Um, but in terms of um, squad. It is a fully fit squad. I expect Bayi to start. Bayi does provide pace and they're going to come out of pace. You know, Aubameyang, Lacazette, they're in good forms. They're in decent form. Pepe, they are pacey, pacey players. And I expect Bayi to be there to combat these guys. Tiani's, again, a pacey fullback as well, who's been in fantastic form, who's the only Arsenal player that I would love to have at United. He's a very fant very good player, in my opinion. Um, he went on to say in regards to Martin Odegaard, he said that he he's a very talented young player. We know from the national team that he can cause anyone problems. Just just hope he isn't finding his form on Saturday. We wish him all the best. I highly doubt um, uh, Martin Odegaard will start for Arsenal. I think he's going to be in the bench for, of some sort. He went on to say about Diallo. Uh, we'll play in the next game. Um, Ahmad Diallo will play in the game against Liverpool in the under-23s. He's been training really well and settling in. Settling in. He's ready to get some game time and match exposure. Exposure. So there will there is an under-23 game. I believe it's tonight. And um, you know Ahmad Diallo will feature in it. I don't think he'll start as of yet. I think he, at most we're going to see him on the sorry on the bench. Um, if he does end up playing, I don't know what, what the rulings are. If they play, can they be featured in the match day squad in the under twenty threes? I'm not sure about that. But if that if they can be, then I reckon he will be on the bench. Um, I think he is getting edging closer and closer to becoming part of the first team football um big big game arsenal versus manchester united i don't believe arsenal have any many injury problems themselves um they're in a, as i said they're in a very very good run of forms they've got good results on the back of uh their their form and also um they've been scoring goals they've been scoring really good goals i watched the game last game uh, i can't remember who it was against but this the couple of the goals that they scored were fantastic the old arsenal it looked like and it just shows that if you give manager the chance and time he will turn things around at the moment arsenal on a very good run um against southampton sorry the last game against southampton in the premier they were phenomenal and they dismantled southampton very convincingly um clubs like chelsea their model is different they sack managers every 18 months or so maximum manchester united have given oligan social the time which is very good it does look like arsenal are giving arteta the time and he's a good coach and i think arsenal will will come at us uh, they're in form. We have the best away form, away league record in the Premier League. And I think that will count for something in th this Saturday's fixture. It's going to be a very, very tough game, guys. Let me know your score prediction. In my prediction, I reckon it's going to be a 2-1 victory to Manchester United. Because I do believe that we are going to see a reaction against Arsenal, especially after a defeat against Sheffield United. Players know that. And we know that as fans that we expect a bit of a reaction, especially considering the fact that Liverpool have won convincingly their few points behind us. They are the bookies' favourite still, although Man City are on flying form at the moment. But the important thing about the next two weeks is that the teams around us, they play against each other. I believe Man City will play Liverpool very soon. Leicester will play Spurs. Uh, I think there is a Leicester Man City somewhere in there in the next couple of weeks. Uh, Arsenal will play Man City as well, so there is there is a lot of um, good things happening for for Manchester United potentially around us in terms of rivals dropping points in around us. 
But let's hope tomorrow is going to be a good day. It's going to be a good game. I think we're going to win 2-1 eventually. It's going to be a tough game, guys. Let me know your score prediction. As always, stay for the fun.